Hi all, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make an object or a sprite uh, follow your mouse cursor. This kind of behavior is actually important in making a certain game and it's uh, useful in certain contexts. For example, if you make a space war game, you will have some bullets uh, that have the ability to follow your mouse cursor or your spacecraft position. Whatever you put your mouse or whatever you move your spacecraft, the, uh, the bullets will follow the path. So you need this kind of uh, behavior, uh, this kind of movement in that game. So if you don't know the, the trick, uh, well, actually the math, especially the trigonometric math, for example, uh, you need to calculate the the angle, the vector magnitude and calculate the cosine of the angle and sine of the angle in order to achieve some certain behavior, some certain movement of the object in order to follow your mouse cursor. So if you don't know that, you're not going to be able to achieve that, uh, that result. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. Alright? If you want to follow along with this video, first you, of, of course, you need to have the basic of Python first. If you don't have the basic of Python, I'm sorry, this is not for you. You can't follow this uh, tutorial. Okay? If you don't have Pygame, you can uh, download Pygame, install it uh, from your terminal and just type pip install pygame then you will be ready to follow along with this tutorial okay let's go ahead and create the uh, the the animation first we import some modules import sys import math we're gonna need math and then import pygame from pygame dot um, locals import anything okay then we initialize it uh, by game dot net next we we're gonna need to have the screen or the display where we can draw the object uh, we name it screen you can name it whatever you want but I just Want to name it screen screen equals by game dot display dot set mode just gives it the width and the height okay for example 400 by 600 and then full screen Uh, it doesn't matter what I type here because I'm creating it and on my phone. So it will take the entire screen of my phone. Okay. Uh, next, we need to create initialize an x x coordinate equals uh, for example 100 and y will be 102 next we run a loop so the game will keep running before we we quit it while true okay for event in pygame dot event dot type uh, sorry dot get if event dot type equals quit uh, pygame dot quit sys dot exit all right, and then we fill the screen. Screen dot fill. 
for example, blue or white. Next, we we take the mouse position uh, from the screen. So mouse X and mouse Y equals uh, by game dot uh, mouse dot get boss like that. Now we have the mouse position. Next, we want to create a, an object. So, for example, let's create a circle. Circle one equals by game dot draw dot circle. Put it on screen and then give it a color. For example, uh, blue, blue, and then. Put it on a certain coordinate of x and y coordinate. For example, uh, the coordinate that we have created above, 100 by 100. So right here, we input the x and y. All right. Next, we uh, set a radius. For example, 30. And if you want the object field. Uh, with color, uh, you need to set the the value to uh, zero. Okay, like that. Okay, that is one object. Now let's create a second object. Circle two. Cir okay, sorry. Circle two. Uh, by game. Dot draw dot circle screen uh, red for example the coordinate here we use the mouse coordinate that we have uh, uh, create above which is mouse x and mouse y okay next uh, we set the radius for example uh, bigger than uh, the other one, for example, like 50 and then field. Okay, now let's just flip the screen by game dot display dot flip. All right, now we can run it. Yeah, already we have two circle there. So if we tap somewhere. The, the red circle uh, will be created right on the mouse uh, position that, that we tap, where we tap. If we tap here, okay, here, here, we can uh, also move it like that. We can drag it, okay. That is the red circle. What we want to do is we want the blue circle follow the, the path or the position of our red circle. If we put our red circle here, the blue circle will move uh, along this diagonal and follow the red circle. If we move it again, and the uh, the direction of the blue circle will change, and it will keep changing following our red circle. All right? How we can do that? Okay. First, we need to create, we need to have the x and the y, okay? So the x is actually the, uh, our mouse position, mx minus uh, x, all right? minus x and then my minus uh, y that is our initial position and that the x and the y is the magnitude of the vector and then we need to to get an angle the angle 
of the the vector so we name it angle angle equals um, here we use the module math okay math dot a ten two okay dx dy all right math dot a ten two dx dy once we have the angle then we calculate the uh, the sine and cosine of the angle so okay move x equals math dot sine okay angle okay next move y equals math dot cosine of the angle okay once we have that we can create the animation so the start position of x and y we add it with the uh, the move x and move y, which is mx and my. All right. Um, where is that mx and y? So we better just get another name for this. Move. Okay, move. Below, we just add the x with the move x. So add plus equals move x. Okay. Y plus plus equals move y. Move y. Okay, basically that's all we need to do. Now we can run it. Let's run it. Yeah, it's following our mouse cursor like this, like this. Okay, whatever we move, our uh, red circle, the blue circle will keep following our red circle. This, okay, okay. Let's have some fun with it. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, now we have achieved that uh, goal where we can create two objects where the other object follow uh, uh, our mouse uh, cursor like this. All right, so that's all. So what you need to remember is uh, the the formula where you can make your uh, sprite or bullets, for example, follow your spacecraft. So the formula is first you need to calculate the magnitude, which is the uh, your mouse coordinate minus the original coordinate which is x and y we got the x and the y and then we calculate the angle of the x and the y using a ten two. okay we use the module math method a ten two, the x the y and then um, we calculate the sine of the angle and then cosine of the angle once we get the value of sine and cosine of the angle, we can add that. Uh, we can add those to our 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 original coordinates. Okay, because it's in the while loop. Okay, it will keep adding uh, those uh, move x and move y to our original position. And that will make the the object move, keep moving, right? Okay, guys, thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned 
something useful in this especially for you who uh, are creating a game uh, like this one all right thanks so much for watching and thank thank you for supporting uh, my channel if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe and press the like button and share see you in the next tutorial